How you doing guys? Welcome back to the Calibrate Tools channel and today we're going to learn how to unclog drains with an auger or drain cleaner. So stick around, I'll see you guys right after this. <music> Now, what is an auger? Well, an auger is defined as a tool with a helical or spiral bit on the tip of it that you can use to bore into materials, you know, into wood, or even in this case, it will be boring or just grabbing onto, you know, clogs in your drain, whatever that is. It can be hairballs or whatever's down there. So that's the basic definition of an auger, if you didn't know what that means. And in this case, you can just call this a drain cleaner because that's what it is. Now here's the handle that you use to spin the auger or drain cleaner that allows the helical portion or the spiral-like portion, the spring portion here, to grab onto whatever's clogging your drain. So here's a closer look at the tip of the auger bit. And it looks like somebody just snapped off the spring at a certain point. And that's designed that way to make it easier for the auger bit to hook into the debris or penetrate the debris and pull it out, unclog it, or just go through it. Now this portion of the auger is the locking mechanism that you engage when you hit a blockage. So when you're extending your cable into your drain and you hit a blockage, you want to engage this. And the way you do that is by pushing this down to lock it in. So when it's locked, you grab your handle and turn clockwise. This allows the auger bit to work on the debris, to penetrate and grab it. Now remember to work the auger back and forth. When you contact the clog for the first time, you're turning it clockwise, but also turn it anti-clockwise to work through the clog as well. So you're doing this. Now when you're doing this, you're gonna have your tub or sink filled with water and the water won't go down because of the clog. But as you work the auger into the debris or the clog, the water will start going down. That's how you know you've broken through the clog. So once you've broken through a clog, you want to unlock the mechanism and you want to continue to advance the cable further down the drain, all the way to 25 feet if you need to, right? Just in case you encounter other clogs and just rinse and repeat. Now, if the clog seems hard to penetrate manually, that's what this portion of the auger is for, for you to be able to attach a power drill to give you more torque to break through that debris. So you just take the chuck of your power drill and place it onto that bit and just tighten it and use it for more torque. But while you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you keep your drill on a low speed. Okay guys, the first thing you want to do before you unclog your sink is to remove the sink stopper so you can extend your auger cable down into the drain. Well, some sink stoppers you can press and pull out really easily. This is not one of those. This sink stopper is actually attached to this mechanism right here that allows you to open and close the sink. And you have to get under the sink to detach the sink stopper from this mechanism here. So we'll get under there and show you how to do that right now. So that rod that you use to open and close your sink stopper, this is the bottom part of that rod that you don't see that's under the sink. That rod is connected to this plastic piece, which is connected to another rod. And it goes into this portion here, and it's connected to the sink stopper, okay? So when you pull that rod up and down, it opens and closes the sink stopper. So in order for you to get the sink stopper out, you have to disconnect this rod from this plastic piece. And because this plastic piece is flexible, you can simply slide it off of this rod. Lift it up more and continue sliding. Now it's disconnected. Now, if you look on this plastic rod, there's various holes that you can place this rod in, but you wanna remember where the rod was when you took it out, and it was on this bottom hole. So when we put it back on, we gotta place it here. 
So the next thing you want to do is disconnect this rod from the seat stopper. And that way you can pull the seat stopper out because it'll be totally disconnected from this assembly. So let's go ahead and do that. So you want to unscrew this portion. And then just pull it out. Look at all that junk on there. So if you're putting things back together and you're confused which side of the sink stopper opening faces the wall or faces you, just look at the dirty part. And you know the dirty part came off the rod, so just stick it in there. And you'll just put it back in with this side facing you. So now that you got your sink stopper out and you're going to use your auger in the drain, you want to go ahead and put a pail underneath your sink. The pail is going to catch any water that leaks while you're using your auger. And while you're at it, just go ahead on and clean these off as well, since you know how to put them back in. Okay, so we're ready to fish the auger down the drain. Turn the water on first and start fishing. Obviously, there's no clog in this drain, but we went through the steps of how to use the auger when there is a clog in the drain in the beginning of the video. But the auger has stopped. No, it's not a clog, but most likely it's the P-trap curve that is trying to negotiate and it's hard to get around. Okay, guys, so this is the P-trap I just spoke about, okay? When the cable's coming down, when the auger's coming down, it hits this and it's hard to get around. So it hits this, stops. So in this case, what's usually done is the P-trap is removed and then the auger is fished by hand up into the drain pipes, okay? So you can remove the P-trap by unscrewing these, taking it off while the auger is inside of it. Now you can also unscrew these, remove the P-trap completely, make sure you have something to catch the water like a pail or something, and start your auger from this point into the drain, okay? Also remember when you're putting these pipes back together, whatever you took apart, you don't wanna to be too rough with them. If you notice, they're plastic, and if you're too aggressive, you can crack them or break a seal somewhere in the pipes. So you don't want that to happen. Okay, guys, one more thing about your auger. As far as maintenance, you want to make sure that it's always lubricated, okay? So you can use uh, gear oil, motor oil. Some people even use snake oil to keep it lubricated inside. And as far as the snake itself, you want to make sure that you take it out of the drum completely and soak it in a bucket full of detergent to make sure that all the grime and the muck that it goes through on a daily basis, you know, or however many times you use it, you wanna make sure all that's cleaned off of it as well. And remember, make sure that the cable or snake is completely dry before you lubricate it. So once you soak it in detergent, just go ahead and pull it out, dry it off with a rag, and let it sit out in the sun to dry. The drum itself, you also wanna clean this as well. You wanna open it up and clean it, and try not to drop it because these parts are not made of metal, if you know what I mean. So guys, if you got some clogged drains, go ahead and grab you an auger. You don't always have to call the plumber. Sometimes you can do it yourself. So if you learn something about how to use an auger or a drain cleaner by hand or with a drill, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.